sind heute in der Olympiahalle in München und zwar sprechen wir heute mit Obituary und äh, die spielen als Support auf der Slayer Abschiedstournee und äh, da haben wir es uns natürlich nicht nehmen lassen, uns die beiden Gitarristen mal äh, vors Mikro zu schleifen. Das machen wir jetzt. Viel Spaß, bis gleich. Alright, uh, I'm standing here with uh, Trevor Paris now of Obituary, uh, one of the guitarists. And uh, well, Trevor, tell us something about uh, your guitar or your guitarists. Uh, well, I play Fender Stratocasters, which I've played all my life, <laughs> basically. Um, this is a Elite Strat USA series. They used to be called Deluxe, but now they're called Elite because they're pretty elite. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, the best for a bit Sounds great. Stock, everything's stock on here. Passive. It's uh, the pickup, the humbucker is uh, a shawl bucker. There's a guy named Tim Shaw that works for Fender. Apparently, I think he used to make pickups for Gibson years ago, but now he makes right. for Fender. Right. It's just passive and uh, pretty basic. Nothing special. <laughs> do, you, do you ever use the middle pickup? The no. I mean, at home when I'm playing around, like right. blues or something, you know. But, right. but like, yeah, I just play this one straight up, and I sweep my tone out 100%. There's no tone. Yeah. That's why my guitar sounds crazy, weird. It's a, it's a <laughs> anti guitar. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's an anti guitar sound. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so uh, should we go to the other guitar real quick? Okay, yeah, this, actually, and this one is a, this one right here is from last year. Right. This is the older version, which when oh, it was still called a deluxe, it's a 2000. Beat up here. Yeah, it's a 2008. It's got a metal nut, right? Yeah, yeah. it's got a roller nut, they call roller it. Roller nut, right. Which is killer, because when you do a dive bomb, it, the strings don't get stuck. Right. They quit making it, I don't know why. They Like, the newer one has the old nut again. It's which, a bone nut, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I love this better. I, I've got a couple back up. In fact, I might get this, get one of these put on here. I've got a couple at the house. Right. Uh, the, the guts in this one died, so <laughs> it was uh, the same exact electronics as this. I see, yeah. It's got like hot switch, you know, a fast lane switch where it goes into, like if you go into a lead, you can hit that right. and it'll go put your tone 100%. It died in here a few years ago, so I ripped it out and just had a Seymour Duncan thrown in. Just basic. Just yeah, the most simple setup you could ever do. Rhythm gain saw. Exactly. Right, metal man. But Sweet. this is called the Deluxe back then, which now is called Elite. Uh, there's a little difference too on the. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're set up there. A little more grip room here for leads. They cut it out some, which is actually a great idea because forever it used to be square, you know? Right, right, right. So this was rounded a little bit, you can see, but then they even got deeper with it, yeah. which is cool. If you want to go all the way up. Yeah, exactly. And you did the uh, little markers here on the uh, top of the fretboard, on the side of the fretboard. Yeah, uh, these are just, them, they're, uh, they're just stickers. Yeah, they're oh, just right. stickers. <laughs> they glow in the dark. Right. Sweet. Because some lights, man, I can't see my... That's good to have. Yeah. There's certain lights, right. that all the markers just disappear. Yeah. And I'm blind. Sure. I'm like, I don't look at it much, but sometimes you jump up high and you, know, you want to know, make sure you're getting in the right, you know. Do you get the right? You do, you do the whole tour just with uh, two guitars, like one spare guitar instead yep. of so both of them in the same tuning? Yep. All right. Yeah, everything's uh, dropped. Everything's a whole step down. All right. D. So it's a D standard? Yep. All right. Cool. And um, I haven't had to play that one yet, knock on wood. <laughs> haven't broken a string yet. I don't break strings very often, so I get pretty lucky. Um, so and the tuning stability, uh, great, I suppose, right? Yeah, it stays great. Yeah, yeah. These are locking. All oh, right, locking tuners. Yeah, so. Sure. They, in fact, to get a Floyd on a Strat, you got to get a Mexican version. Uh, what gauge do you use? Like what? Uh, 10 to 46. All right. Yeah, well, pretty that's... light, actually. I was going to say, right. Yeah. yeah. I used to use nine uh, years ago on the first album. We were tuned right. to E yeah. on Slowly. And ever after Slowly, we went to D, so I changed them to 10s. What uh, picks do you use, man? Like, I mean, uh, you forever. Light, uh, actually, I used to, forever, I used a Fender Medium forever. But right. then I think the chemical combin compound yeah. uh, was changed and they started chipping on me live. All right. So now I'm using a Jazz 3. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a 73 mil 0.73 millimeter. Yeah. Same as a Fender Medium thickness wise. Right. But uh, I like these actually. I really dig them. They don't, and I can use the same pick the whole tour. They won't even scrape up. <laughs> so you brought I mean, like two guitars and one pick. Right? Yeah, no, I've got a bunch of picks, no, but but yeah. still, I could. They, they never wear out. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, Fender's gonna love you for this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Well, um, 
about your uh, pedals? Do you, okay. you want to set off the guitar first? Or, uh, yeah, um, uh, you want to go to that's all right. Um, so what I got, I got two setups here. An A and B switch. This A B switch basically goes, you know, in case I go down live and something goes bad, right. I hit the B and the B rig starts. Everything's okay. mic'd up. I'm li literally using a half stack live. Yeah. Um, and for years I used to use just one, but then one day I was like, hey, I had a brainstorm. Get an A B switch. If something right. goes bad, if a cable or a, the amp or anything goes wrong, right on the fly, I go bam yeah. and switch it over and keep playing. The most simple backup you can have, but yeah. the simple is good, right? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like cool. it's like my own guitar tech right here. <laughs> it's got, got my own personal guitar tech. But uh, it's, it's a big guys, shot. Uh, bring a, did you bring a guitar tech or do you like do everything? Well, we do have a guitar tech with us. And he, I do my strings myself though, right. because most of the time you're just sitting around doing nothing anyway. Yeah. And I love Jay. Hey, it gives me time, something to do. Right, um, sure. He sets up everything for me, and I come in and double check it, and then away yeah, we yeah. go. You know. So about your amps, man. Yeah. That's, now I can. <laughs> Old school 800s. Two Jason. partial full stacks. Yeah. yeah, but the funny thing is, I'm only playing through one one cabinet, so it's just for looks. Uh, I mean, they are real though. You, do, do you run those caps too, just for a stage sound? Or? No, not even. No, right. I'm just running through the half stack. I, the head, for me, the tone sounds better just through the one cabinet. Right. Okay. For my tone, um, it sounds a little thinner when you run through both cabinets to me right. for some reason. I usually use a 50 watt head, but these are hundreds because I couldn't rent any 50s over here. All oh, right. I've got like four 50s at the house, four yeah. of them at my house, sure. and one 100. But but I mean, these uh, work as fine for you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the 50s are a little richer sounding, but I'm so loud and hot, live, you can't really tell. Because you, you, can't. you uh, can turn on, uh, turn them up way uh, way more? Or? Exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. These are way louder, obviously, but the other yeah. one, you can get more more bite Natural out of it. Natural saturation. Exactly, right, yeah. Right. Um, running 16 ohms to the one cabinet. And like I said, I've got that AB switch deal going on, so if this bad boy goes out, I can hit it and it will switch right over to that one. Ah, okay. And keep so, playing. Oh, I see. All right, right, right. Yeah. So both are mic'd. Yeah. And I'm Just only that's only live. You right. know, tonight you'll only hear yeah. that one. And if something goes wrong, I can switch it over. So now, man, you offer to give us a little tone sample. Is that still valid? Yeah. Why not? I'd love to hear. Yeah. Why not? Let's see. Yeah. Switch his phone off. His microphone. Yeah. It's gonna be. Okay. So it doesn't. Okay. It's all right. It's gonna be loud. So. All right. I think I can die happy now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love this part. Where <laughs> it just keeps going. Uh, did, you, did you hear that? The, the reverb? <laughs> uh, it's, it's just, you know, this this is the greatest feel ever. You know, just, you know, wow. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. It's just Appreciate amazing. It. Glad oh. you were interested. <laughs> um, I think uh, we're about done. Cool. Yeah, and, uh, you can check out Kenny's stuff too. Yeah. Next. Now we're gonna now we're gonna talk to Kenny and uh, thanks a lot, Trevor. Yeah, appreciate and, uh, it. Have a great concert. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy, Enjoy it. It's gonna be heavy. Thanks, Promise, thanks, man. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Well, uh, now I'm standing next to uh, Kenny Andrews. Ken. Yes. Uh, nice. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice no problem. Here. No problem. Uh, basically the same deal as with uh, Trevor's gear. Would you just uh, show us uh, your guitar? Yeah. That'd yeah. The one that I'm using now for my main, of course, the ESP. All right. And the E2M2. It's a beauty. That's the newest one there. Right. EMGs, 81s. All right, yeah. 81, 85, or? No, nah, just 81s. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sweet, and just the uh, one volume. That's, that's it, it, man. Right? That's I don't need no tone. Okay, and do you, do you have a switch? Uh, between yeah, the some, uh, during the solos, yeah, yeah, I'll switch. Right. Yeah, right. man, I got this one, and then, uh, this is my backup, but sometimes I'll play this as my main. Same setup, right, same two, thing. Just yeah. EMG 81s. Yeah, 81s. All right. Floyd, gotta have the Floyd Rose. Right. Gotta have that. <laughs> sure. And so, uh, what yeah. tuning? Uh, well, uh, obviously the same tuning. Yeah, D, D standard. standard. Yeah. And uh, what gauge are you using? Like what the thickness? Of uh, it's 10 to 48. 10 to 48. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Was using 10 to 46. 46 right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I I yank up on the bar a lot and, and use you know. 
and uh, I need thicker strings because I'll be breaking. If they're any thinner than that, you know, I'll be breaking them yeah, like sure, crazy. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and um, well, the markings, did you do them yourself as well? Yeah, yeah, my, my tech Fabio did it and put, put those on there. Um, but I got a real simple rig just uh, in, into the Kemper. The and two uh, guitars, that's all you brought us Yeah, that's it, yeah. I yeah. love this, you know. Yeah, it's one you tuning, uh, one for main, one for backup. You know, this is how you know he's been doing this for years. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I need and that's yeah. about it. Yeah, right? the you basic, know? yeah. 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 Um, how about your picks, man? What picks do you The use? picks I'm using right now, I, I switch around, I'm using these, uh, right, I think it's yeah. .77, I think. Right. I, mean, I, bring, I didn't wear my glasses, they had Jazz 3. That's what I'm using now, but sometimes I'll use the stubby, the uh, those purple stubbies, All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 3.0 yeah. millimeter. I'll use those once in a while. That's not a problem for you, just switching picks. I mean, most guitarists just stick to one. Thing yeah, I one. get. Uh, well, the guys call me nervous, Nelly, because I'm always <laughs> switching something. You know, so some days I, I feel like I can play better with a thicker uh, pick. Some days this is you know this is all I need. And right now these days this is this is it right now. Yeah. And this is yeah this is our tech stuff. Well, that's, here. Uh, that's all your tech broad. That's really this easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no uh, no workstations or anything like that. This is it. That's great. Throw and go. You know, we try to be easy and plus, you know, it keeps yeah. the cost down too. Yeah, obviously. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so, so you basically brought a backdrop, a light guy, and this little. Yep. Oh, this rig this here, we, we got a sound guy. This is great. And, um, and then we rent the Kempers because I, I have Kemper at home, right. but we rent these and I just bring my, my profiles on the flash drive, plug it in. And go Wouldn't for it. Wouldn't be surprised if your tour bus was just a station wagon. Too. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, like yeah. in the old days. Right? Yeah, of course, of course. But uh, yeah, if you want to check out, yeah, I totally. mean, it's really, really basic. I, you know, I found a profile that I liked and right. and uh, and and stuck with it. Uh, I got the main here and a backup. Right. Um, I use the a cabinet just for me on right. stage, um, so I can hear myself. You know, sure. but but we have the profile going out direct all right and uh what i believe the profile is for the cabinets are uh, is a is a mesa 212. okay I yeah see, so I that's see. what you're going to hear out there is so the profile. it's basically a mesa and uh, right and, and uh, the amp is a 5153 it's, it's right. uh yeah yeah TV and mesa that's a great yeah yeah for sure, oh yeah and the the marshall heads these are just here because uh, it's obituary and it's marshall you know they, uh, they yeah, are, yeah. The, uh, are the caps all loaded too yeah these are all loaded too but, but i but i use i just use this one here it's sweet man I, yeah i love this yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, so fucking real you know besides you know, uh, despite you know actually uh, using the camp and not the marshall heads you know I yeah have loaded caps yeah 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 that's great. <laughs> i mean just in case something blows out you just plug into another one you know yeah, but sure. but mainly this is for me on stage to hear you know otherwise it's well, you think it would be possible to get a sound sample of you as well? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. I'll that turn it down you know. so it's not so blasting here. Well, we don't mind. Yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's a sweet looking guitar, man. Let's see. Thanks, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Wow. It's Well, that's the only pedal you actually use. Yeah, right? yeah. And so what I got here is I got, that's my rhythm channel. Then I have a little uh, uh, harmonizer. Right. And then uh, this regular solo channel. And then, uh, then I got the wah. And that's it. Uh, which wall is that? It's just oh, it's just an expression pedal, pedal yeah. Oh, okay, it's so an expression pedal you uh, control the uh, yep. camper with? I yeah, see. yeah. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. Cool. So that's it, man. Um, yeah, it's just very basic stuff. Like the delay and the reverb or, or whatever, whatever was in there, I didn't change any settings or whatever. That's what's great about the camper. You just set it and forget it, you know? It's sure, sure. It's really easy. And, uh, and plus, we're not, we don't have a million effects and all that right. just caveman metal so you know <laughs> yeah. metal. you just crank the gain and go for it you know 
not trying to be a dick, you know, but still, his pedal board is smaller than yours. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. And and his tone's way heavier because you know he's he's bringing the the balls, and I'm like the dude that makes the weird noises. You know what I mean? So so between that, between yeah. both of us, you know, it's it's, it's for like what more than thirty years now. So well, for for them guys, yeah, I've been yeah. with them since uh, 2012. Right, right. But, so yeah, but yeah, that that sound, he, we can never change that. You know what what, yeah. what he's got? It, it's a great sound that he's had, and and that's the obituary sound. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, you, you know when it's a bit true, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, so, yeah, totally. exactly. So yeah, yeah, he's more the low end stuff, and I got more mids, and yeah. and uh, and so out front, it, it's a good blend. You know, it's not it's not too much of one thing. You yeah. know, when we're both playing rhythms, not too much to it. You know, all yeah. in the fingers and in the soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah, that's of what Woody Weatherman said. Remember? Yeah, yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very basic, and I love it. I haven't had any problems, you know. And, and what's cool about the Kemper is if, if something goes wrong, it, it's only a couple things it could be, you know, maybe the main cable, right. you know, because there's only one cable. And then you got this, this cable going into there. If, in case the wall was messing up or something, you know it's the cable, you know. Like, Did you bring a second set of, like, another Yeah, yeah there's another pedal, another yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pedal. Oh, yeah, we got, we got all that. You could fit all of that, like, in a backpack, basically. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the technology is getting better and better, yeah. you know, to where, like, even some of the apps that you have on your phone, right. just to practice, they right. sound great. So, uh, since when have you uh, been playing camp? I mean, did you... It's situation? been a few years now. I, um... Because um, I also am a guitar tech, and uh, right. so for the bands I tech for, I seen some of the new technology was coming out, uh, right. like the the, the um, Axe Effects right. back when they right. came right. out, and um, so so I worked with those for a bit, and then um, and then the band I was working for switched over to these, and everybody's switching over to these, and I was right. like, man, it'd be nice to have one just to know, you know, how to Who work. Who are you working for, if I may ask? Yeah, yeah, uh, Trivium. Ah, Trivium. Yeah, Trivium. Right. yeah, I've been with them for uh, right. over 10 years now. Uh, yeah. On and off. I, I haven't been recently because I've been touring a lot. So, right. but uh, yeah, that and a bunch of other bands I've done in the past, you know. Um, and that's uh, I stay busy. You know what yeah. I mean. And cool. when I'm not doing this, I do that, and it's and it's great. You always know? So, tour. Yeah, and and I always get to see the new the new stuff. You know, the yeah. new technology sure, and sure. and uh, because bands like that, they always jump on the newest thing and and uh, whatever works. You know, and and. Uh, I just follow behind and say, oh, that looks good, man. I'm going to try it out, you know? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my thing, man. But basically, that's it, man. That's it. You heard it uh, from uh, Nervous Nancy. Yeah, right? yeah Nelly, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly. Nervous <laughs> Nelly. So this was Guitar Magazine with Nervous Nelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. With uh, Kenny of the Bitchery. Well, uh, Ken, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. Uh, with the concert. Oh, yeah. Are you guys going to be here, right? You guys yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. We're going to enjoy the show. And right. uh, going to take a couple of pictures of yourself. Sure. You know? And, uh, well, thanks again. Yeah. Uh, enjoy the show. All right. All right. All you right. too. We'll see you.